Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Well. Ah, the football has been uh, very much in our mind recently, hasn't it? Um, the beautiful game. Well, not so much for me. I was a pretty rubbish football player and often remember being on the losing side. Remember one particular time, we we're about 5-0 down at half time. And the teacher came out and said, guys, you are like a bunch of iron filings being dragged around by a bank bit. You, you, you all want to be touching the ball. You all want to be at the front. You all want to be scoring. You know, if you've got any interest in this game at all, if you've ever kicked a ball, pass it to the person beside you. Play as a team. And I thought, that's really good. As I looked at this passage today in Philippians chapter 2, and Paul is speaking to a church which is having problems. He too is in problems because he's in chains and he identifies with his people. And so at the beginning of this, it says, therefore, because he's speaking into their situation and he knows that this is really important to them. He says, therefore, if, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete. And he's saying, look, if you've got any touch of what God has done in your life, if you've got any, if you identify with those which know that God is love and in their life, if you've got any unity um, or want to be part of this, make my joy complete by being like minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. But in humility, consider others better than yourself. So he, he's making this appeal. If you've got any interest in the game, if you've been touched by it or enthused by it at all, by basically love of Christ and what he has for you, his joy will be made complete if we played as a team. And that, in that way, we can be of one spirit, of one purpose, of one mind. And that's where the Holy Spirit can come in alongside us and help us to play as a team. I really wish I'd had that as a kid when I was playing football, because I think we went on to lose 13-0 or something ridiculous like that. But we did actually play a little bit more of a team. We did pass things around. And what Paul is encouraging us is that we don't go alone. We don't try to be at the front and try to score the goal goals without any help. He wants us to have a team spirit he wants us to be filled with the spirit in such a way that we can consider mm. others more than ourselves but in humility consider others better than yourselves each should not look to their own interests but to look for the interests of others so my thought for today is c.s lewis's wonderful quote about humility humility mm. is not thinking less of yourselves it is thinking of yourselves less. That idea that we shouldn't put ourselves down and think that we're bogged down in our problems and that we can't play together on the team, but actually that we should think of others and the team members around us. And in doing so, that we are filled uh, with God's spirit, his love, and that we can work together as a team. Amen. <laughs>